Alright. Um, I didn't fucking brush my hair or anything. Uh, I just got done eating. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a probably actually short one this time. Because, uh, I got stuff with the family that I'm pretty much running up against the ass end of. Um, so, uh, I thought today I'd talk about, uh, because a thing came up, uh, I thought I'd talk about the fact that, uh, a lot of, uh, leftist children on social media should shut the fuck up. Um, now, like, I think in general children don't fully understand politics and should probably ask more questions than make more statements. But in general, I've found that quite a few um, self-styled communists and socialists that are also children give some of these truly awful takes. Um, and... Obviously, it's not just one side, right? I've gone against uh, children on the right as well. Uh, not the least of which is one who tried to get me censored by admitting to having mass-reported my uh, Twitter account. Uh, so I got banned for saying things he didn't get banned for saying. Um, and he thought that was a nice, neat little victory. Because uh, he's a fascist little cunt. Now, I'm not going to go too hard uh, into the, the details here. But what I will say is that uh, in this particular case, um, the conversation that came up was a conversation that I think uh, can be best summed up by, I don't want to. Because there's this long-running trope that exists in leftist circles. Work or starve isn't a choice. You know, it's not a voluntary system. It's work or starve. Um, everything is work or starve. That's the premise of this video. Everything is work or starve. All of it. 100% of it. Um... The idea that there is some fucking universe in which you wouldn't have to fucking work uh, to get the food that you eat or to uh, get the, the tools that you need or to get the, the housing that you need is fucking stupid. It's like dent-headed. It's water-brained. Um... So, like, let me be very clear here and say that even Marx would disagree with these fucking losers. Uh, even Marx would disagree that there is a system in which work or starve is not the modus. Um, because the whole point of communism, allegedly, is, you know, from each according to his ability and to each according to his needs. Which means... You have to give from your ability. You have to work. Plain and fucking simple. 100% of the time, there is no way to follow communist teachings and not work. Zero. Point blank. Um, and the idea that you would be given a free ride in a commune have you looked at any of them in history? That ain't how it works, princess. Not for the fucking second of it. So, the reason I'm bringing this up is because one of these worker starve spats uh, opened up today again on fucking politics Twitter, which is a cancerous location um, I wish I didn't rely on. But uh, it, it's also like, you know, my job... So, I, uh, I, I talk politics online. I do that for a living. And, um, yeah, I have to be on political Twitter, proverbially speaking. 
but the general idea that that, that this thread eventually ended up at <laughs> um, was where uh, this stupid 17-year-old who thinks he already has everything figured out, this stupid 17-year-old uh, insurrecto platformist, ecological transhumanist, city enjoyer, libertarian communist, um... <laughs> He uh, he responds to uh, somebody uh, saying, "Yeah, I'm not offering you any of my food." With then us anarchists will defend our dignity as men. You mean children? You're 17. Shut the fuck up. And appropriate our means of subsistence by force if we must. We will collectivize production for the satisfaction of social and ecological needs so that they can never again become tools of exploitation and privilege. <laughs> okay, so my response to this was pretty much to knock out the linchpin of his, of his point. Appropriate our means of subsistence by force is a fancy way of saying steal your food because you won't give it to me. Or you won't give it to us, is what I said. It also requires effort to steal. Not granted as much as honorably working for what you possess, but hardly a refutation of work or starve. Nice try. Ah, I've got uh, uh, notifications. Apologies for that. Um, so... Generally speaking, there is no fucking argument there. And, wouldn't you know it, this guy had no argument. All he did was quote tweet it and say, you can't get any dumber than this. Fan-fucking-tastic! I guess I've already hit rock fucking bottom, huh? Hey? Like, the whole notion of these people being taken seriously politically should be thrown into the dustbin. I think I'm about to get another notification, by the way. Um, these people are like... <laughs> they're children. They don't actually understand shit yet. They haven't formed the rational parts of their brain. So what I said was, what no prefrontal cortex does to your politics. Because that's what it is. This little guy has no prefrontal cortex, and he's acting like he already processed the entire pantheon of political knowledge. So much so that he can summarily dismiss whatever he wants, rather than actually interface with the points or have an argument. And sure, you can dismiss that, but it doesn't make you right. It makes you a thief who doesn't want to acknowledge his thievery. Now, there are some uh, forms of actual libertarian communism which don't involve stealing food from random people on Twitter. Um, <laughs> that involve actually getting some sort of restorative justice for the grand theft that has per been perpetuated upon the people. You know? Um, but that's not going to happen by... Arguing with people in your own fucking class. And make no mistake, these two are in the same fucking class. They're in the same class, and they're, you know, it's understandable from a right libertarian point of view to constantly try and, and struggle with the people in your class. But from a left libertarian point of view, he should shut the fuck up. And he should direct his energy toward actual useful things that might actually usefully have an impact on state capital. So the reason he's not doing that, the reason he doesn't actually give a shit, is because his brain isn't fully enough developed and he has not absorbed enough actual information about class theory, uh, any sort of anarchic philosophy, uh, or anything else really, and he doesn't know how to talk to people. That's it. Plain and fucking simple. Um, 
And it's this way with so many other people. Like Leandro, uh, who <laughs> was a child a communist who, who, who like, tweets the worst fucking takes regularly. Um, I haven't seen him in a while. It wouldn't surprise me if he just quit Twitter, but regularly. Um, and all this sort of crowd of people who don't actually understand the subjects they're discussing, but still want a voice. I used to be a dumb kid. I had some far-right views in my high school days that I am not fucking proud of. Do I think that high school Jeremiah should have the same respect, the same, like, measured discourse, the same size of voice as present Jeremiah? Fuck no. That would have been very bad. Because I might have actually cemented my awful ideas and not grown enough of a brain to actually know I was full of shit. This is full of shit thinking. <laughs> it really is. And like, that's the reason he's, he's hiding behind Malatesta. Because he doesn't actually have any ideas of his own. None. Um, and that's the reason he had no argument. He just said, it's dumb. Well, no, it's not. It's really not. What's dumb is assuming that at 17 years old, you already have everything figured out. What's dumb is assuming that you will get away with <laughs> stealing somebody's food. What's dumb is thinking that stealing somebody's food helps the workers. It fucking doesn't. You're stealing food from another worker. You're not stealing food from the capital class. This isn't how this works. Ace does not own a factory, to my knowledge. Ace Arcist is the one he's responding to. Doesn't own a factory, to my knowledge. To my knowledge, uh, he's just, like, on the same level of worker as you are. To my knowledge, you're arguing in your own class and threatening to usurp your dignity from who? A guy on Twitter, because so much of left politics these days, and, and right politics too, but I'm talking about left politics right now. I talk about right politics a fucking lot too, so don't get it twisted, but um, so much of left politics these days is performative activism. It's lip service. It's worthless jack-off jive. When AOC gets to cry near a fence and act like she's an activist. When she gets to push for a $15 minimum wage and for uh, uh, Medicare for All and for all these lofty proposals, um, and then as soon as she gets the option to fucking do nothing. Um, when so many of these communists and socialists would rather take down people on Twitter and YouTube and shit than do anything to reusurp their dignity, that's performative activism. It's, I'm going to get attention for what I'm doing, but I'm not actually going to help. It's performative. That's all. You're not helping the working class by doing what you're doing. Most of you aren't. Most of you are satisfied with virtue signaling. Most of you don't actually know what it is to rebel because you've never had to do it in your life. Western society privileges fucking everyone, including you, and the vast majority of people aren't part of the lowest class. You are the 1% of the fucking world. Act like it. And maybe, maybe once you realize your privileged place, once you check your privilege, you can start to analyze your space and the people in it and recognize that you're not actually punching up when you do this, even though you think you are because you're a kid and really everyone is better than you. Like, this is why kids talking politics can be such a problem because yeah 
they might occasionally have the good point that's like a needle in a haystack. Or they might even have a series of good points that they're repeating from adults. But they don't have the brain lobes to fully understand what they're talking about. Not in the slightest. Like, I'm on the same uh, level here as this kid, right? I would rather not fight with him. Apologies. I would rather not fight with him, you know? But at the same time, I have to, like, use my developed brain to occasionally tell people that maybe they should wait until there's is. You know? The whole idea should be that people who do have abilities contribute those abilities. This person clearly has no ability to adequately debate the subject. The subject at hand, which is <laughs> whether or not you have to work. There is no political system where you don't have to work. None. And if you think there is, it's because you want to create one where you didn't have to work, but somebody else did. You know what they call that? They call that the state. And they call it slavery. If you're not willing to work, you should starve. That's even a communist principle. If you have the ability and you do not give the ability, you do not get to take from the commune. It's a give and take, not just a take, not just give me. And if you think that's what dignity is, to not do anything with your life and still get what you want, if you think that's what being a man is, then it's because you've been given bad frameworks for both. And maybe, just maybe, you should read some leftist literature so that you actually know what the fuck you're talking about. Hey, maybe take a few years to do it. Like, five. Because, you know, that'd be 22 when your prefrontal cortex might be at least mostly developed. Like, seriously. It, it boggles the mind how much attention people get for basically doing nothing. You know? That's it. That's the video. You gotta work. It is always work or starve. 100% of the time. And if you don't think so, it's because you want to live at somebody else's expense. Because the world does not operate at a standstill. And work is 100% necessary. Maybe not work for a capital class. Maybe not work for the uh, military-industrial complex or any of the other, you know, hyphen-industrial complexes that you could have, right? But work for something. If you aren't willing to be a worker, you are not a part of the workers' working class. You are not a part of the workers' struggle. You are not one of the workers... You are one of the usurpers. And real communes would have no problem rejecting you things on that basis. Work or starve. You make the fucking choice. Or it'll be made for you. Anyway, this was brought to you by Opsec Drip. Feel free to check out that link uh, for 240 pixels of glorious libertarian news content. Um, right over there is my link. I've been angrily yelling about children. Smash the state. <laughs>